Hey guys, so we've been getting um, some questions on exactly how to do the February clutch. And this is the, the clutch that we made. It's got a little handle right going across the front and it unfolds and it's got a zipper. So we are going to make one of these guys really quick. Installing a zipper can be a little bit intimidating but it'll be okay I like I've said before I'm a hashtag lazy crafter lazy sewer lazy everything so I'm just gonna show you my way of doing it and if you've got a better way let me know um, but yeah I just wanted to make sure that everybody that got their box knows how to make this project so I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna get started I've already cut out my two pieces of fabric, which is going to be the front and the back, and then this is going to be the strap that goes across the front. And you will need your zipper. So now that you got all of your supplies, we are going to get started. Grab your fabric and place them pattern side facing each other. And we are going to fold this guy in half and we're gonna measure three inches down on one side because we've got this angle we've got this angle in the actual um, clutch we're going to cut the fabric at that same angle you're gonna mark three inches down on one side and I'm just gonna place a pin a pin there so that I know where to start my cut. So it's gonna start right there and we're just gonna cut all the way up to the top corner. So now that we're here, we are going to put some pins going around the edge I've got it pinned all the way around and we are going to sew around the entire piece and we're going to leave about a three inch section open that way um, we can stick our hand in and flip the fabric right side out so that your seam is going to be on the inside of your um, clutch. So a trick to the corners is to leave your needle down and that way you can spin your fabric freely and not lose your spot. So all you have to do is drop your foot now and you're in the same exact spot. I've sewn around the entire edge of the fabric except this portion. So it's going to go from there to there it is still open. That way we can now stick our hand in and flip it right side out. Before we flip it right side out, we're going to go around and snip the edges of these corners. And that'll help for when you flip it right side out, it will lay just a little bit more flat on those corners. Once you've got all of your corners pushed out, I'm not gonna iron mine, but you can iron yours if you want, um, if that'll make it easier for you. But we're going to now close up this seam right here. Push in your edges and then pin it in place. And we're just going to top stitch over that section. Okay. 
grab your strap fabric and fold this guy in half and pin the edges. We're only gonna do a quick stitch going along the side and then we'll flip it inside out. Grab a safety pin and connect it to the edge and then push your safety pin through so that you'll have something to feel as you guide it through. Now that it's right side out, again, you can press it with your iron if you'd like. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna run just a top stitch going along, along either side. I don't know if you can see the the top stitch, but yeah. Set this to the side and work on the zipper. You're gonna open up your zipper and pin it to the top edge of your bag. Just like this. So we've got one side pinned down and we're going to sew across as close to the zipper as possible, back stitching on both ends. I find it easiest to, if you don't have a zipper foot, um, to adjust your width. When you move your width, you can see your needle moving back and forth. If you drop it to the lowest width, it pushes the needle all the way to the edge of your foot and that way you can keep your seam super close to the edge of this foot. And that's what I do when I don't have my zipper foot. So there you go, you've got this side done. And now we're going to pin it to this side. And you're just gonna keep it aligned. You can, you can go ahead and zip it if that helps. And line it up with the edge of your zipper again. All, going all the way across and pin it in place. Once you've got it pinned in place, you're gonna unzip, unzip your zipper and stitch, doing the exact same thing, back stitching on the, um, on both ends. And I'm doing it on this side so the teeth of my zipper is butted up against this edge of the zipper foot, um, the far edge of the zipper foot, because my width is adjusted to where my needle is all the way as close to this edge as possible. I hope that makes sense. That way I can keep my seam as close to the zipper teeth as possible. If you've got a zipper foot, use it. it. It would make things a little bit easier, but if you don't have a zipper foot, there's always workarounds. And again, take your time, back stitch on the edges. You just wanna make sure